Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Med Study. Today in this video we are going to deal with lymphadenopathy which is one of the important aspect in general examination of a patient. So generalized lymphadenopathy is when more than or equal to 3 non-continuous lymph nodes are involved. Significant lymphadenopathy is when there is palpable cervical lymph node of more than or equal to 1 cm, palpable inguinal lymph node of more than or equal to 2 cm, palpable axillary or supraclavicular lymph node of any size, any palpable lymph node which is hard, matted or ulcerated. Now coming to levels of cervical lymph node, we can see in this diagram and here is the elaborated version. Level 1A is submental lymph node, level 1B is submandibular lymph node, level 2 is upper jugular or jugulodigastric lymph nodes, level 3 is middle jugular, level 4 is lower jugular or jugulohomoid lymph nodes, Level 5 is posterior triangle lymph nodes and level 6 is anterior triangle lymph nodes and level 7 is mediastinal nodes. Now coming to some uh, facts or terminologies. First lymph node to be involved in TB is jugulodigastric lymph node. Lymph node to be involved in tongue pathologies is jugulohomoid lymph node. Lymph node to be involved in tonsil pathologies is jugulodigastric lymph node. Nodes to be involved in syphilis are epitrochlear lymph node and occipital lymph node. Left supraclavicular lymph node enlargement, which is also known as Virchow's node, node or Trossier's sign, is seen with GIT malignancy. Thank you. That was all about lymphadenopathy. I hope you liked the video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will never miss an update. Thank you.